this is one of the question asked in shift 1 for 2 marks from the subject compiler design. Uh, in compiler design from SDT syntax director translation or syntax director definition both are almost same. So, from this he has given SDT here syntax director definition and uh, he is asking for what is the output for the input MMLK. So, here he has given a SDD syntax director definition given MMLK as the input which of the following option is correct value computed by the SDD. So, s dot val whatever the value is there s dot val for what is the value of s dot val from this SDT for this input this is the question. There are so many similar questions this is a repeated question this type of questions are there in previous papers. So, what is the way of solving this question whenever any SDT question is given the way is first we need to construct the parse tree evaluate from the parse tree based on this semantic rules. So, for this input we need to construct a parse tree. So, what is the way of constructing parse tree here? So, m m l k to get this type of things we need to construct a parse tree the parse tree is looks like this. So, all the remaining things are epsilon epsilon the leaf nodes if you read m m l k we are getting input. So, this is the parse tree for the input m m l k. Now, we want s dot val s dot val see here there uh, wherever the value is available from there we will take it always better thing is whenever you are evaluating SDD. So, that to all these are synthesized attributes we can go from bottom then we can compute very easily. So, now let us uh, start from here d dot val what is the d dot val when our parser using this production when our parser using d to epsilon production d to epsilon the d dot val will be minus phi. So, here the value is nothing but minus phi the same evaluate this right like this attribute information at every node we need to evaluate. Then when our parser using this one if you want parser uses this production d to m d then what is the d dot val here for this what is the attribute whenever we are using d gives m d this rule we have to use. What is the semantic rule is saying d dot val is nothing but d 1 dot val plus phi. So, d 1 is nothing but this one now we will consider this as a d 1 here this is d 1. So, minus phi plus phi this becomes this is nothing but minus phi plus phi. So, obviously it is 0. So, d dot val will be 0 again parser using m d d derives m d same production what is the same production d 1 dot val plus phi. So, 0 plus phi this becomes here the d dot val is nothing but phi. However, the semantic rules are there based on that in the same way we can evaluate this right. Now, come to this production h gives epsilon what is the h val here. Whenever we are using this production what is the semantic rule at attached with this that we need to see h gives epsilon whenever we are using this production this rule also will be executed what is this rule is saying whenever we are using this production h dot val assign as minus 10. So, here minus 10 the value here will be whenever we are using this this production then the attribute value here is h dot val is nothing but minus 10. Then h 2 l h whenever we are using this production what is the h dot val here. So, l 2 l h whenever we are using this this rule we have to take. So, phi times multiplied with 10 that is 50 plus h 1 dot val. So, this is nothing but 50 plus h 1 dot val that is minus 10. So, 50 minus 10 
So simply that is nothing but uh, just a minute. 50 minus 10 value is nothing but 40. So, here h dot value is nothing but 40. Similarly, next this production t dot value we want to calculate t dot value t to epsilon whenever we are using this production what is the rule associated with this? The rule associated with this is t dot value is nothing but minus 5. So, if we are using this minus 5 directly we can take minus 5 here. Then next u to k, uh, what is u to k here? Whenever u to k, u dot value is nothing but if we are using this production, u dot value is 5. So, here u dot value is 5. Now, what is the final s dot value? Whenever uh, we are using the production s to d h t u, then this rule. So, what is this rule is saying? d value, h value, t value, value sum of all this. So, that is our s dot value. So, s dot value is nothing but sum of all this. That is nothing but 5 plus 40 minus 5 plus 5. So, these two gone. So, this is a 40. So, the final answer will be 45 s dot value is nothing but so 45. If you compare from options, the right answer will be B for this. 45 is the s dot wall for this SDT. For this SDT, whenever you are evaluating s dot wall, then that its value will be 45. It is very easy one, the basic SDT is given here.